Hi everybody. I just lost about an episode's worth of footage, which means I've gotten a lot done that I haven't gotten to show you yet. But I can show you a few things. I've started on a Thom lab. There's not a whole lot really that I can do with it yet without things getting really messy because I haven't found a magical forest. But there are a couple of infusions that I really want to try out, so I wanted to distance it from my actual house. And I have actually managed to get some auto harvesting set up with the help of Rotary Craft. The setup's actually. No. Go home. Go away. Where was I? Oh, yes. Setup's actually fairly simple. Steam engine driving into a 4 to 1 gear box to increase the speed of these fans. The fans basically blow the crops off of the plants. Actually, according to the instruction book, it, unru it uproots the plants and then replants them. But that doesn't seem to be the way that it actually works. Because when these plants are harvested, they're still there. At any rate, the fans will blow the crops straight down the line about 13 blocks. I found that they'll only do it when they're actually directly in line with the fan, so I had to supplement it with some fans from open blocks. And I have another fan buried under here. So that when stuff gets blown over here, it's picked up by the vacuum hopper and placed into the silver chest. My mob farm is maturing nicely. I think it's still got some more work to be done, but the point is I can harvest all the blood I want. and use it to charge my wand. And with the house built in this direction, I don't get shot and killed nearly as much. I do still plan to build a wall all the way around this, though. And I'll probably roof it in. so that I don't have to deal with that. But what I really want to do right now is set up a tree farm. And I think that I might want some more flat land for it. Yes. So what I think I'll do before that is make an excavator and dig down this hill. So I think I want to go pretty simple with this and just go with an Ender IO farm manager for the tree farm. For power. I'm going to go with a windmill from Immersive Engineering. So for that I'm going to need treated wood. And for that I'm going to need a coke oven. And for some reason I've decided that I want to build it over here on top of the house.
the bricks are a slightly different recipe from Railcraft. But it's made about the same. I think I need to wrench it. Be right back. So yeah, turns out it just needs a little bit of tender loving hammering. So I've made a hammer and and hmm be right back ah it's not built exactly like the railcraft coke oven the railcraft coke oven you leave hollow and this one has to be solid. So, not really a problem. Except for the odd number, I suppose it's expecting me to build two coke ovens. Ah, there we are. So the reason I decided to go with this one is a bit it is a bit more clay intensive than Real Crafts Coke Oven. But you can use regular wood with it, whereas Real Crafts only uses coal. So we'll just let that pump out some creosote oil. Well, it won't pump it out. I will have to actually go pick it up. But we'll let it generate some creosote oil. And then I can start on the windmill. While that's going on, I can finish clearing this out and fill it in with dirt. So I've been trying to figure out how exactly I want to do things moving forward. I initially had the idea of using this mod pack in a server and inviting some friends. But it's not really that popular and without Greg Tech it really doesn't have that much to set it apart from other mod packs other than Rotary Craft and Lycanite's mobs. So I don't even know if I have any people interested in playing on a, on a server. Particularly since none of my other friends are YouTubers. And also, since this pack is definitely not ready for prime time. I'm waiting for an update from Reka on the Rotary Craft. Well, and, and really all of the Reka's mods. Because there is a crash that I think comes from Reka combined with Forge that still hasn't been corrected yet. And that's just not the sort of thing that you want to put out on anything like a public mod pack.
And just the same, I'm still actually having a lot of fun playing with Reka's mods. So, one way or the other, I don't have any intentions of ending Pain in the End. Because I still plan to play it. And if I'm going to play it, then I want to record it. But I don't know if I'm ever going to make it into a server. Perhaps if I were to make friends with some other YouTubers. Better building wands need to make a noise when they break. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, so I'm going to continue doing Pain in the End entirely for my own enjoyment. And really, if you're doing YouTube for anything other than your own enjoyment, you're probably not going to do well in the first place. I mean, sure, it would be nice if I got hundreds of thousands of subscribers and could actually make a living at this. But if I go around thinking that that's the reason that I'm doing this whole channel in the first place, it's going to be a really sad time. And I really don't expect to make money from this. I'm not that skilled a YouTuber, for one thing. But I still enjoy doing it. And so I'm going to. Guess that's pretty much all there is to say about uh, Pain in the End. My space engineers, I'm kind of torn about. I've received comments that it's kind of slow and boring, and, you know, it really is. There's just not as many things to do in space as there is here in Minecraft. Go figure. I'm still enjoying it, but some of it does get kind of monotonous. And of course, standing around watering trees never gets monotonous. Although admittedly, that sort of thing never happens in space engineering. But that's not really space engineering's fault. There are lots of great channels with space engineering. I just haven't really ha I just haven't really figured out how to make it interesting. And I do think I have some viewers that are interested. Before I started doing Unstable, Space Engineers was my most popular channel. Series, whatever. So I'm still going to do space engineering, but I'm thinking about putting it on the bottom priority for the while anyway. So the point of all this? Eh, nothing. Just something to talk about while I'm doing things. So yeah, most of this rumination is just my attempt to get better at talking while I'm recording.
Although I do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you found it interesting, I do hope you'll let me know. You know, I'm going to have to do something about my mining situation as well. I need to make it quicker, safer. Basically, I need more diamonds. And I think that's what I'm going to make next episode about. Which means the tree farm won't be finished in this episode. But I should be able to finish the windmill with no problem. I want it to be at least 100 meters high. And we're at 69. So that's 31 of these things. I should have 20 left when it goes high enough. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you think of things. Just so happens there's a little spot below this video where you can do that. And while you're there, you can also click my like button. Subscribe so you can be reminded when my videos update. I'm sure you know how all of that works. Wow, this is actually really a nice view. There we go. So anyway, I guess that's all the things I really had to talk about. And we've already discussed plans for the next episode. And I have managed to construct a working windmill. So next episode, we're going to work on some mining. And until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.